Okay, there, let's look at uh, 2012 number five, non-calculator example, the baby bird problem. The rate at which a baby bird gains weight is proportional to the difference between its adult weight and its current weight. At uh, time t equals zero, when the bird is first weighed, it weighs 20 grams. If b of t is the weight of the bird in grams at time t days after its first weighed, then db dt uh, is given by the following. Now, one quick thing to notice. It says that the baby bird gains weight proportional to the difference between its adult weight and its current weight. So proportional means directly proportional. Here's our constant of variation. Here's its adult weight. Here's its current weight. So we can see that clearly uh, the adult weight will be approaching 100 but never reach it. This is called a logistic equation. If you're going on to BC Calc, you'll see a lot more of those. Okay, let's look at this now. Let y equal b of t be the solution to the differential equation above with the condition, uh, with the condition, golly, okay, there we go. With the condition that the initial weight of the bird is 20 grams. Okay, is the bird gaining weight faster when it weighs 40 grams or when it weighs 70 grams? Explain using reasoning. Okay, so gaining weight. Okay, well, dBdt represents weight gain, a change in weight. So let's find dBdt uh, at 40 grams, or b equals 40, and then we'll find dBdt at b equals 70 grams. Okay, so let's plug these in. Clearly the one-fifth makes no difference in comparison. We're going to take 100 minus 40, that's 60. And for 70 grams, that'll be 100 minus 70, which is 30. Clearly, uh, dBdt at b equals 40 is going to be greater than that at 70. All right, let's look at part b here. It says the derivative of db dt, right, so the second derivative here is really the derivative with respect to t of db dt. So let's find that in terms of b. Okay, so if I take the derivative with respect to t of db dt, I can rewrite this in a slightly different form to make sense out of this. This would be 20 minus a fifth b. Okay, so in taking the derivative of this, 20 drops off, and I will get negative one fifth db dt. Okay, and negative one fifth db dt. is going to be negative one-fifth times one-fifth times 100 minus current weight. Now notice, since b, okay, since b is greater than zero and less than 100, the second derivative will always be less than zero under the given conditions. So notice also that the graph above is not concave down That was supposed to be entirety <laughs> of its domain. Thus, it cannot represent B. 
Okay, I'm running out of space. I'll work on part C here up above. Okay, it says use separation of variables to find the particular solution to this differential equation given the initial condition 0, 20. Okay, so let's separate some variables. Um, I'm going to separate by dividing by 100 minus B and multiplying by DT. Let's integrate. Sneaky little u sub on the left side. This is going to be negative natural log of the absolute value of 100 minus b. Check that using a u sub. On the right side, we'll get 1 fifth t plus c. I'm going to uh, go ahead and use my initial condition at this point. I'm going to plug in a 20 for b and a 0 for t. So I get negative natural log of the absolute value of 80 is equal to 0 plus c. And I'm actually going to write this as the natural log of 1 over 80 is equal to c. Thus, the negative natural log of 100 minus b is equal to 1 fifth t plus the natural log of 1 80th. OK, so I'm going to change the sign real quickly. Uh, on both sides. So we get the natural log of 100 minus b is equal to negative t over 5. And I'm going to write this as plus the natural log of the absolute value of 80. Okay, I could really kind of drop the absolute values there if I wanted to, but I don't need to. Okay, I'm going to take e to both sides. So that'll be absolute value of 100 minus b is equal to e to the natural log of 80, which will be 80, times e to the negative t over 5. I skipped a step there, but I hope that made sense. Okay, I'm going to rid myself of the absolute values. And clearly, you guys, um, when I do that, I mean, obviously I'd get like 100 minus b is equal to plus or minus uh, 80 e to the negative t over 5. Um, but <clears throat> clearly, uh, I'm going to want to take the uh, positive version. Okay, And the reason why is because, well, our output here for b is positive. OK, thus, I'm going to uh, subtract 100, divide by a negative 1, and I should get uh, b for my particular solution, b is 100 uh, minus 80 e to the negative t over 5. And there's our particular solution to that differential equation. Okay, hope that made sense. Talk to your teacher or come see me if you got questions.